Well, the, the last time we opened a pack one and it had Typhoon Skyshaper in it, we 3 0'd our draft. So, like, naturally, we should just, like, snap this, this Typhoon Skyshaper off, right? Just, like, like, 10 out of 10 out of 10? Like, every, every time? Just, yep, I don't think I can pass. This card's great. Like I said, constructed playable, plenty playable and limited. Just snap, snap, snap it up. For those that are new to Hex and or just haven't kept up on what set six means, mobilize means as you play this, you can exhaust an unexhausted troop you control to reduce this card's cost by two. So if you have an unexhausted troop, this card can cost you four. Wildfire. I, I agree that the wildfire is good. I think this card is better. Oh, Jojo. Did you see Ruby Favors were 190 Platinum? So I should draft this one? <laughs> so this card is like, it's a reasonable okay card. Each, each choose one, deal three damage each opposing champion, each opposing champion sacrifice the artifact, exhaust the troops, you control get Swift Strike this turn. What are the other cards that are possibly good in here? Ruby Sapphire seems like a fine, a fine archetype. No, that's correct. Flight is just saying what the keyword is. I think. I don't know what the pick is here. It might just be the Ruby's favor. Call of the Deepwood is also an okay powerful card. Oh, you know, now that's not on, on shard. Yeah, I'm going to take the Ruby's favor for now. And we may or may not play it, but it's definitely a fine card to draft. I mean, if we want to end up in, if we want to end up in diamond, the adamantine cavalry is okay. There's also a chastise in this pack, though. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the chastise, I think, and we'll see exactly how we end up here. Yep. Yep. Pays for your draft, Ben. <laughs> Just guy draft. gotten here talent keep watcher could be good if we pick them up early you get a couple of them there's nothing else that's particularly great illusionary form void target troop you control sacrifice this put each troop voided this way like I guess this could like protect us from a piece of removal is illusionary form good I guess it like gets value at some point right Okay, yeah, let's, let's pick that up and see how it goes. Oh, my overlay needs to be changed. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, you can't have your way. All right, so we didn't get two coins in this pack, and neither of them are on shard. What a shame. There is, however, a second chastise in here. There is, however, a second chastise in here, so sign me up for that.
Thank you for the reminder on my overlay, by the way. I appreciate that. Really? <laughs> I did pass two coins, I know. Darkfall, so whenever you play socketed card this hand against minus one cost, that doesn't seem particularly good. None of the cards in this pack are very good in our shards. I'm gonna grab the Friar Tusk because that was a fine reserve card last time. <gasps> Porky monster! Teeny need a diaper. Okay. Okay. All right. We have a Consult the Talons here, which, you know, we, again, we don't really have any two drops yet, but I think we're just playing Ada to make Consult the Talons insane, so, yeah, I'm going to grab that. It's fine. Alright, we're gonna grab a Waku coins here and I'll be right back, folks.
Sorry about that. Most of these picks towards the end don't super matter anyways, so... Kids come first, as always. Uh, ditch this. Ditch this. Ah, this isn't great. Ditch this. Missionary form. This isn't great. I think we're just taking the well here because dollar bills, but I'm not sure. I'll double check the rest of the pack. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, Decree of Banishing is, like, a reasonable piece of removal. But, uh... I feel like we'd be silly not to just, like, take the $5 card, the $4 card, whatever. Well of Savagery here. That's fine. I mean, we've got... we got, what, like, nine playables here already? Decree is essentially Jardina Nora, that is correct. This is the set five, like, are you sure? You just, I just said your set five pack, let's... Alright, and we got, what does this rare do? Choose one, draw two cards, or transform this into oh, Unlock no. Aberration. Oh, no. That doesn't seem very good. Do we have enough Mobilize to enable that? I feel like we don't, and I feel like I want to just take the Premium oh, no. Removal spell here, so I'm going to take the Decree of Banishing this time around. feel a little bit bad about not taking the other one, but five bucks is five bucks. Nope, just for the value and the rarity. It's worth like 400 Platinum. Will be worth that amount of platinum for the foreseeable future. Uh, we have a Vanquish here. Destroy target opponent's troop with four power or more. Ardent Allegiance, create a Valor, and put it in your hand. I think I'm going to take the Shackling Strands, though. I was pretty happy with that card last draft. We need some more cheap cards to like, fill out the bottom end of our curve, but we're doing okay so far. Is there a guaranteed coin in each pack? There's not a guaranteed coin, but the coins are common. So, like, and there's five different coins. So, I think Declan's trying to poop. Um, I think this card's actually great. Sky Spire Scholar, 0 6, one shot, six cost, draw two cards. Uh, yep, yeah, I agree. Just like it's, like, it's like soft removal that draws cards later. We got another warp steel sword, sword shard sworn here. You okay, kid? I'm gonna grab the razor edge duelist here as another reasonable two drop. You come in here. You choke on your drink a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. That's empty. Your muffins are over there on the couch where I gave them to you. There's no muffins in there. You already have muffins. I like shard swarm, but I'm open to being wrong about it. Yeah, I think the shard swarm is fine. It's really good with more mobilized things. 
Uh, Diamond Favor here, super, super reasonable card. This pack's actually really good. Um, hopefully we get a reasonable pick back out of here. I think Diamond Favor is a card I want to take, but I would love to get Chastise or the Blue Coins passed back around again. It's possible at this point I should prioritize... I should prioritize picking coins up. It's possible I should prioritize picking coins up at this point, because I've already got... I guess I only have 14 playables right now, so maybe that's not quite enough. Prioritize coins. A second consult the talons. Clutch, do we take the second consult the talons? Yep. <laughs> Don't even, yep, always draw cards. I cast, I cast that for seven and then have you. <laughs> hey, you look at Joey Tree? Do you look at Joey Tree? Well, we just 3 0 to draft with Sapphire Diamond Flyer, so. Similar, similar deck. We had a bomb splashed in with the Soul Cursed Dragon, so, like, that definitely carried some of the game, so we'll see. It's okay, bud. Still got a little bit of bug in our throat. Uh, yeah, I think I'm fine to take another Warp Steel's Shard Sword in here. Especially with the second Consult the Talons. Yeah, I think I'm definitely snapping that off. Right, you need help again? Hey, right, come show Dad what you need. Super happy to have snaked the coins there back on the wheel. Again, probably want to play 19 shards, especially with the Consult the Talents here. We got a Vanquish that came back around too, just like building, drafting a control deck here. Why are we always drafting? We got this pack one, pick one again. Two drafts in a row, we just like pack one, pick one, Sky Shaper. Just like, yep, side me up. It's a shame we didn't get any of the two twos that revert a card because like being able to revert this seems great. Do you want, do you need a different snack? Eat your pretzels, and when Dad's done drafting, we can get you a different snack. Eh, blindside's like a fine trick. I don't know if we're gonna play this, but been it for now. I don't know that. Oh, this is an illusionary form deck either. We don't equip too many troops. Feels like. That's the just reduces its cost, right? No, I don't think so. I think that card's just poop all around. Another Warp Steel Shard Sworn Sweet. So this card is a 1-1 one, one for 2 that when it comes into play, it creates another 1-1. One, one. So it's 2 power across 2 bodies, so it's really good with, like, Consult the Talons. Um, I think I'm gonna get this Vile String Convoy, just like a random 5-5. Five, five. We might, might or may not play. I'm gonna bin it for now, but we'll, we'll take a look at the very end, see how it feels. I think Friar Tusk is in our reserves as well. 1-4 for 2 seems pretty reasonable in a control deck. Bye. 
Another Friar Tusk for the Dreadling deck. Sounds good. This draft's coming together well, and we drafted a well. This draft's coming together. This draft's coming along pretty well, huh? On color bomb, 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 on color bomb. Oh. Oh. Wow, this pack just is actually nothing that we want in it. I might take a Hail Hawk. I don't know that we're going to play it, but like none of these cards are on shard for us. I guess I could just like cut a cremate. I do need five more playables theoretically. Yeah, I'm going to take the Hawk because we're kind of light on playables still. I guess yeah, I guess we only need two more. I'm I'm dumb. I'm bad at counting. First picking a Hawk out of that pack feels bad, but Consult the treasure cruise. Exactly. Um, can I play Astral Slate if I think I'm that much of a control deck with Ada as the champion? I mean, like, that... that yeah, man, it's fine. Yeah, screw it. YOLO. We're playing 19 shards. Come on now. We got three draw threes. This is our. This is going to be the first draft we don't cash, isn't it? I've cashed every draft so far, so, like, we're bound to... <laughs> my draft does my draft for doesn't have the chance to select that. Joke! I actually can't pick the champion. I have one let me save my deck because I haven't picked the champion. We have a hail hawk here. Again, might just be like, okay. We have a Cerulean Lookout. I think I'm going to take the Cerulean Lookout. This just seems, this just seems fine. Again, just like one fours in my, in my control deck seem okay. <laughs> we just got past the Silver Talent Adjudicator. <laughs> Adjudicator, 3-2 Flying Rare. When this comes into play, if your opponent has more cards in hand than you, draw two cards. If they have more life than you, gain five life. What love got to do, got to do with it? <laughs> Alright. Anywho. Um... The Spearcliff Captain might be playable. Honestly, the Spearcliff Captain's probably better than the Hailhawk. We don't have a lot of uh, Ardent guys, but just like as a 3-3 flyer. I think that's fine. I'm going to cut the Calvary. It's kind of clunky and awkward. I'm going to pick up the Cleansing Touch for now. It's like a fine reserves card. Do it deck ourselves? There's no... This is definitely heading into the deck ourselves territory. You're not wrong. Huh. Is this a change course deck? This deck might want change course in it. I'm going to put it in the reserves for now, but we'll... Actually, you know what? I probably should have picked up the 1-1 one -one there. The 1-1 one -one so strike for one. That seems reasonable most of the time. Hope everyone's having as good of a Wednesday as I am. Just hanging out, drafted some Hex TCG here. Uh, yeah, I'll grab another Hail Hawk for when we want. Not passing the Screamate. We have a lot of we have a lot of removal too. We've got two chastise, a shackling strands, a diamond's favor, a decree of banishing, a vanquish. It's like six pieces, five six pieces of removal. Cleanse seems great with all the tricks now. Yeah, possibly. We've got two coins. Like we're gonna consult these talons. Ada might be my new favorite champion. Uh, 
Uh, Dawn Scout's going to be a fine card to board in. Again, against decks that are super aggressive, we're going to want to probably board down a little bit, so that's fine there. Halt is an okay card to bring in against a deck full of tricks. I don't know. Drafting is sweet, though. And draft gauntlets. The gauntlet part of the drafting is great. Like, not having to wait around a bunch and, like, the fact that, like, after we finish drafting here before we actually play games, I'm going to go take Jake upstairs and let him pick out a stack since he didn't like the pretzels that I brought down for him. So, like, the fact that I can, like, not be, like, take breaks and back and forth. There's a Strider Scout, again, just, like, so we can board down when we need to. And then I think this is just going to be... I don't know that I want to main deck halt. Main decking halt seems a little ambitious. How much are drafts? Drafts cost um, three packs plus a hundred platinum, and packs bought straight from hex are two hundred platinum, which is about which is two dollars each. Or you could buy them from other players in the auction house usually for about a dollar seventy, a hundred seventy platinum. I think. I think we're going to go 10, 10 diamond. Uh, we're going to go 10 sapphire. So let's do 9 sapphire and 8 diamond here. So we have one of each coin. And what champion are we playing? We're playing Ada, right, we said? And then what? what is the right gem for these? Oh, do I just make these 1-3s if I'm like a control deck? Yeah, I think I'm just making these one threes, putting diamond of protection in these. Yeah, I think that's better than the other options here to start. All right, I'm going to take Jacob upstairs and get him a snack really quick. And then when I get back, we will do battle with this draft deck. I will be catch y'all back in a little bit. Yep. Yeah, like this deck's definitely much like these Ada decks aren't really possible when she's still triple threshold. Look at this, I'm gonna remember to change my overlay here.
So many dreadling for each. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's great. That's actually really good. And again, super excited to have uh, super excited to have 19 shards in my deck. So I just want to draw shards for the next few turns here. Affected the balance of drafting. I don't. I think the people that are talking about it changing the fundamentals of how the draft works because it's async for the gameplay. I think they're just like overstating the importance of that. This creates a depth crawler here, and the depth crawler is socketed with whatever we play the action. This gets plus one, plus one. So, if we hit a sh if we hit a sapphire shard next turn, we could actually just play consult the talents, which is insane. Huh. The question is, do I want to do that? I think I actually just want to chastise this, and then crack my opponent for three here. Because this way, if we hit another non-slow shard next turn, we could probably play the Silver Talon Adjudicator and draw two cards with it. Whereas if we play the Consult the Talon to draw three cards, we're definitely not going to be able to draw cards with this. So, here's the drawing another shard. Hey, yeah, Brennan, what's going on? Or Derek? Back with these. Alright, if this resolves, it doesn't get dingled. We get to draw two cards. Wow, that feels good. I feel good. Boo -doo 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 -doo. We're gonna consult the talents mobilized off Ada's phantoms. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I feel good. Yeah, you got a you got a speed guy. That's fine. That's adorable. Attack me, please. Yes, when a socket when you generate a socketed troop, the gem that's in its socket is random based on the thresholds that you could produce. So let's play out this diamond shard. My life like a diamond. My life's like a diamond. Bum bum. <laughs> God, this moon call ceremony has just been so far above curve every time we've played it. It's insane. Holy crap. Wow. Wow, what a turn. We could even do this other one if we wanted, but then we'd have to discard, we wouldn't get to attack. So like, man, this deck is sweet. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. So this card, every time it triggers diligence, when it unexhausts, every card in our hand gets minus one cost. Oh no, don't butcher my guy. All right, so let's do this, and then let's Spearcliff Captain, and then Razor's Edge Duelist, and then Consult the Talons, exhausting these three. God, this this isn't even fair. Is this legal to show on Twitch? Does anyone know? Am I gonna get? Am I gonna get a takedown for showing this on Twitch? This is wow! What a what a game! What a game! This this limited format is lit, fam. Is that what the kids say, lit, fam. We just like have an extra. We have an ancestral site here at hand, so we get to draw three cards, make make some more phantoms next turn. Oh yeah, you got a rot paw gang, sure. Yeah, you do you. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna diamond favor and make you sacrifice this. You're dead in the air too, but like. Let's just kill yourself. This is card draw pornography. Oh, yeah. Dead. You're dead. All right. Uh, I'm just going to click submit, I think. <laughs> Apparently, I'm pretty decent at dressing. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> For cereal, buddy. Um, I think we're supposed to mulligan this. It doesn't have double diamond for our cards or eight inches. It doesn't do anything before turn four. We've got a reasonable number of twos in the deck. Yeah, this sand, sand's much better. I mean, like, like, all jokes aside, like, you know, this is my fifth draft in this format, and, like, 
I've cashed every draft that I've played so far. I've got three, three two ones and a three zero oh so far. And like, I made it to Cosmic last season just drafting set five, triple five. Power and pain. Conscript of Truth with cost four. The created card gets all the socketed powers of this. Okay. My opponent is upset, apparently, because we played two matches in a row. <laughs> oh, my opponent's just confused. He goes, no, we literally just played last game. I was like, yeah, draft is best of three. Be right back. I think Declan's getting in trouble. He got distracted by Joey's water bowl, so he didn't wander in and die. Alright, so I'm playing this. Uh, I think we're just playing Spearcliff Captain here. It's most resource efficient play. This is unblockable. We're probably gonna have to decree a banishing this. We'll wait and see what four drop they got that's unblockable as well. That's a 5 1. Wow, yeah, okay. So that's like Blackfire Sorcerer's older, angrier brother. So we're gonna need to hit some more removal here. That's. Exactly what we did. We're gonna vanquish this and then crack them for two here. Next turn we can make some phantoms plus kill this guy. Dark Wonders with the cheer. Thank you for that. I do appreciate it. Man, another one, huh? All right. Well, you know, we're still doing pretty decent here. We decree a banishing this. We turn this into... Am I turning this into a four-power guy? No, I think I'm just turning this into a three-power guy, and then I'm going to put one of these other Valors on one of my Phantoms. And then next turn, I can Astral Sight to gas back up. We're, like, kind of winning this race. I suppose I could actually leave this back to block. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to leave this back to block, because I feel like with the Astral Sight, we're, we're ahead here by a lot. So if they offer this trade, I'm going to take it. And someone explain cheers to me. It's giving me money. That's what cheers are giving me money. Cheers. Every every point for the cheer is a penny and they have fun on-screen animation. So it's basically a fun interactive way to donate to the stream. Do I go to PAX East at all? I've never been to a PAX event. No. I'm going to block here. If he wants to burn a trick killing a phantom, I'm okay with that. Okay, let's play this. And then actually, this gives us three charges too. So that means next turn we get to make two more phantoms. Which is pretty hot. Um, let's deck with both of these. Again, leaving this back to block this. This guy's unblockable and gets plus one power for each underworld troop he controls with attack. So this is very real that we have to race here. That's a little unfortunate. Uh, 10 out of 10 trading here. Oh, ha. Huh. Yeah, these can trade here next time. So we're going to 10 here. So need to need to hit some removal here. Consult the talents. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this to start. And then let's play this out. We play constructed. I have not. I've not gotten any of the cards together to play constructed just yet. And let's consult the talents. Exhaust these three. Get mobile. Diamond favor. That's unfortunate. Um hmm. Definitely playing that. I think. Just attacking like this. 
Yeah, I'm gonna attack like this. We need to find removal for this or this unblockable is gonna put us into the ground here. Yeah, if you're in particular territories, you can, and that's, this is lethal in two now. It's unfortunate. Oh, we're just dead this turn? This is unblockable now? Well, that's really unfortunate. All right, we've got a lot of card draws here. Um, so let's try and, uh, have to look at five cards. We need two pieces of removal and five cards. All right, there's one piece of removal. There's two pieces of removal. I guess I should have not exhausted that one. Taste for blood, sure. Uh, so they can make this into a three. I guess I'm just going to pass the turret here. Yeah, I'm just going to pass the turret here, I think. Oh, I can attack with that one. Yeah, let's do that. So, this is going to get exhausted when they go to combat. This takes... Oh. Oh, do they have a resource I could die? Yep. What do you got here? So, this gives them a Dreadling for each different race among Underworld troops they control. So, they have Necrotic, Shinhair... Venom, so that's gonna give them three, four. So I need to leave back four, five, six blockers. That's unfortunate. Five, six. Yeah, so I guess I'm just attacking with these two here. It's a shame we're flooded out here a little bit. Well, I guess we've seen most of our decks, so it makes sense that we've drawn most of our shards. Tight, tight game either way here. Attack for the troop. This gets lethal this turn. Sure. Oh, this was the one that he procced. He created randomly, right? Yeah. The place to play the form of the prize, all I see right now are, yeah, the Immortal series. So you can, there's, there's an Immortal queue in client. And if you, if you play in that, you earn tickets towards the uh, Hex Primal Immortal Championship. So now he can generate four, five, six, seven. So I need to leave back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blockers. So I'm going to go ahead and attack with this. Leave the rest of these guys back. Hopefully, hopefully he goes ahead and I uh, wanted him to taste for blood this so that way we could kill it with Diamond's favor, but unfortunately it doesn't look like an option. Well, that's, that's great for us. Um, let's play this out and then do I burn the diamond's favor to draw two cards here. What do we think, fam? Do I burn the diamond's favor to draw two cards? Because, like, if I burn the diamond's favor, I only have two cards in my hand, and then the silver talent adjudicator draws some cards. What, what would you do here, Klutz? I, I could just, like, throw my Diamond's Favor away to draw two cards. How would your Diamond's Favor draw two? Because it would put me down to less cards in hand than him for my Adjudicator. 
You'd keep the favor? Like, what is what is keeping the favor do? I think I'd rather try and draw a removal spell here. It doesn't kill a troop, though. None of his guys have five or more toughness. I'm gonna burn the favor. This is gaining me five life. How am I dead? And this can block. I think that's... I think that's 10 out of 10 a correct decision there. Let's play this out. I think I'm just going to hit him for one, one of these here. I'm just going to hit him with one of these here. Fast to turn back. Oh, you want your hand wiped? Taste for blood? Sure. Oh, I guess this doesn't play around taste for blood. Okay, so how do we beat this giant thing that has taste for blood on it is now the question. Was he dead to a full swing there? I didn't count it. Sorry, I have toddlers and stuff in the background and I didn't count it. I definitely should have. So if I play this out... So if he blocks here, he goes to 10. Yeah, I think we just have to keep passing. I think we just have to pass here, unfortunately. I think we have to wait till we find another piece of removal for this. We might be through all of our removal, though, which would be bad. Not sure if I recall having another piece. I have not played Immortal yet. I don't have uh, set six cards on my account. Now that everything that we have can attack, um, he blocks the three power guy. He blocks, if I just attack in the air, he blocks the three power guy and goes to 10 and then takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yeah, so I'm just gonna alpha here. Remember this has life drain on it, so we had to count that. No, with our control deck. Seems sweet. Cue up the next one, shall we?
Man, this hand's really good with diamond in it. I think we just have to mulligan this, though. We just, like, can't play any of our cards. <laughs> At least with diamond instead of sapphire, we can activate our champion power if we just run off other shards. And we drew we drew a two drop that's playable, so that's pretty good here. Looking to just draw some sapphire shards. We are on we are on 10, 10 sapphire shards in our deck, basically. We have one we have nine nine shards in a coin. The 19 shard special here. Sapphire. All right. Well, like I said, if we draw diamonds, at least you can, you can at least activate our champion power. So they have a 3 3 that gains flight on attack. Well, our 19 shard special is hitting more shards at least, even if they aren't the thresholds that we're desiring. The awkward part here is we've got double and even triple sapphire threshold cards in our deck, so we're going to need to hit multiple here to really unlock everything. So, based on what my opponent's done so far, one thing we want to keep in mind is that we can change the gems on these warp steel shard sworns in between games. So I think these warp steels are going to be going to flight maybe on attack in this one. Block there. They have like a chastise to finish this off. Nope. Just a free attack into a free block. All right. I'm just going to Valor this and pass the turn. I really don't want to burn a chastise on a 3-3. Odd that they didn't use their champion power. Sweep away. Sure. Uh, now I think I'm going to burn my chastise on their 3-3. Yeah. I just don't want to look too far behind. It's a shame they didn't use their champion power. I think we're going to play Constructed on stream tomorrow, Yank. We got enough cards from drafts to throw some money into it and get some stuff. No blocks here. Sorry, toddler was screaming in the background. Need to see if he was hurt or trying to poop. Turns out, trying to poop. Do you have a dingle on the way back down? Sure. Now did ever forget my charge power again. I don't want to trade my phantom for the broom bot because. We have these warp seal charge warns that can like kill with this. Like 10 out of 10 trading my phantoms for their phantoms here. We just got like infinite things that stonewall this broom bot if we have some resources here. Guardian Growl. Exhaust your troops you control, exhaust target troop. That's pretty good. Man, I wish we'd open some of those. Yeah, looking like we're gonna be pretty dead here. If we run off like sapphire into sapphire here, we might be okay. Just, like, go wide next turn and then, like, consult the talents the following turn. It's curious how the meta is shifting. No one... The actual answer is the format's been different for a day and people don't even have all the cards they need to build optimal constructed decks. So, like, anything that you're seeing isn't going to be what the best decks are. You won't even know what the best decks are probably until, like, after the first CCS, if not a little longer. Yeah, I think, I think we're just going to go ahead and concede here. Just thoroughly shard screwed. Mulligan one shard screwed hand into a second shard screwed hand that we kept. Threshold screwed. We had we had resources, we just didn't have thresholds. Um, yeah, I think my warp steel shard swords can say how they are. 
I think I'm gonna bring in this Calvary. Sure. Maybe cut this lookout. Another thing to keep in mind is, like, in addition to Angus have got getting worse just from, like, the cards changing and stuff like that, um, I think uh, you also have to keep in mind that, like, some of the best cards for playing against Angus have also rotated. Succulent Cluckadon no longer exists. Wrathwood Master Boss no longer exists. Like, it's not... It's not just that Angus got strictly worse. It's that other things other things got worse, too. So there's a lot there's a lot going on here. All right, look at let's say it's super reasonable. We get to warp steel shard sword on two, astral sight down the line possibly. Maybe I skittering cultivator on two actually to start getting the diligence trigger going. That's probably better. Although I guess this is more power on two, so like it's kind of a mix. I'm not quite sure which of these two is optimal on two here. How great would it be if we draw consult the talons next turn? Just go like warp steel shard sword into consult the talons draw three. That would be sick. That's gross. Wish we would have drafted some of those. Um, the the new Valor troop goes a long a long way towards making the loss of Psychonic Anarchist less bad, though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, see, there's just there's a lot of it's not just cut and dry as like Angus lost card, so it's worse. Just like everything in the context of the format is different. So you basically just have to start fresh. That's a 3-3. Three, three. That's a Silver Talon Adjudicator. Alright, yep. 3-2, draw 2. Get to attack this in for free, basically, because they can't kill it. So they take 2 here. Eh, hit some bricks there, but that's fine. We got coins to cycle through. Smells like I need to change a diaper. I will be right back, folks. Thanks for hanging out. Don't go anywhere. We're going to finish this draft up before we sign off for the day. That was a good hit. All right. Dreadlings run in and die past the turn back. Hopefully this sight's going to allow us to get catch up and get ahead. Opponents threshold screwed this game. So, you know, fair's fair. We lost game one being threshold screwed.
Let's see if this resolves. Oh, jeez. Seriously? God dang it, Hoagland. This, I was talking to my wife while I was clicking there, and uh, this is triple Sapphire Threshold, believe it or not. Believe it or not. Alright, well, let's attack with these, I guess. What am I going to play in standard? I do not intend to stream any standard constructed until after... Until after the CCS. So... I am working with other people that are on a group together, and this ended up working out since he had a sweep away. But um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sharing any standard constructive. So I'm not gonna lie to people. Like, I'm gonna, I might upgrade a couple decks, like play like updated Angus or something like that. But anything new and really stuff with a lot of new cards in it that are like new archetypes, I'm not gonna be sharing those after the CCS. So that's a cash tournament. The CCS is a $5,000 cash prize tournament that happens at the end of every Hex season. I believe so. Yeah. yeah, for smaller tournaments, like the Shard Cups and things, it's just like award credit and packs and that. But like, the first place in the CCS is $2,000 cash, so that's worth, worth keeping things secret, I feel like. I'm gonna go ahead and play this out. I'm gonna chastise their 3-3 here, so it fights itself and dies. Ready, target troop, it gets spell shield, sure. <laughs> when is the CCS and will it be streamed? Uh, the CCS is on March 11th, and I don't believe they have coverage set up yet. I will be recording all of my matches from my side with whatever deck I end up playing, and all of my matches will get uploaded to my YouTube channel afterwards, but I don't... Oh, you know what? Maybe I should have made that a 4-4. Four four. Yeah, I don't know. Like, that dying means I can attack with these phantoms, so I think I'm okay with that. With this many creatures, minions attacking, dudes normal for this game. Uh, it's more- I'm playing limited right now, and like most limited formats, it's more- it's more troop-based than anything. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna hit a bit. Pretty happy with what we got going on here. Poor D. Is absolute power limited playable? Probably not. Probably worse than Consult the Talons on average. Yep, that sounds great. It's got a Skittering Cultivator here. It's got a piece of removal so we can just like empty our hand out and then hopefully draw a card to the Silver Talon Adjudicator. And there's a Consult the Talon. So, Consult the Talon, really love this card. Seven cost, double Sapphire Threshold. Mobilize, 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 which means you can tap up to three troops you control. And for every troop you exhaust that way, its cost gets reduced by one. So this card can cost as little as one resource to play. So ideally we want our opponents to keep to, to miss some plays here so that way they hold cards in hand so we can silver talent adjudicator them. Is he still pooping? Poor kid. No three drop, no three drop. Rats. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and chastise this again. We kind of just want to like go right up our curve here. This also pushes in a point of damage. Like we might be merit holding this for uh, a card later, but like at the same time, um, I've got stuff to do with my resources next turn and the turn after, and possibly the turn after that. So like I feel like it's worth just like using my two resources here. They must have the give target thing spell shield card in their hand here. That's why they're in the tank, and if they want to protect this or not. Yeah, that's fine. We were going to get blown up by that trick probably at some point with that anyway, so glad to do it now instead of wasting resources to do it later. Them having played that kind of sucks for us, though, because it's going to make it harder and harder to draw cards with this. Uh, Hex is much closer to magic than Pokemon. Oh. Oh, this is a combo, right? I can just consult... Yeah, let's do this. So, exhaust all of these. That's- that's a combo. Man, I didn't realize we were playing a combo deck, but we definitely are. Yeah, Diligence and Mobilize are good, really awesome together. Rats, they remember their champ power. Alright, so... On our next turn, we're going to go ahead and play this. That's another good hit. Let's go ahead and champ power. And then we can Spear Cliff plus um, Valor our Spear Cliff. Which means it'll be a 3-5, so it can block, um, block this in the air, which is nice. Probably not realistically ever drawing cards with the Silver Talon Adjudicator, but we will, will likely get to gain five life with it, which is fine. Like a three-two, a three-two for four that like gains us five life is plenty playable, especially with flying. Four, four, exhaust a thing. Yeah, that's pretty good. I guess I want to play the Silver Talon Adjudicator out now. So that way he has to exhaust multiple things in order to get through. Uh, this draws two cards, but yeah, we can definitely draw with that suit. You're right. So this card, this card can easily push us out of this game. Exhaust two troops you control, exhaust target troop. It does take the resources, and now this is a 5-5. Five five. Yeah, yeah, the format has a lot more going on in it than 5-5-5 five 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 for sure. It's good, it seems like they've learned from some of their mistakes. So we've got a lot of cards left in our hands here, but our... Um, yeah, so exhaust that guy, and then they're probably going to exhaust two more, and exhaust this guy, and then swing in with this and this for eight. Probably just jump the 5-5 five five here. Yep. Kind of surprised they didn't swing with this. That, that's going to be real good. All right, so let's play a resource I turn. I was going to do this, but now... Now we hit these coins. And I'm gonna go ahead and Valor, Valor this again, and then pass the turn. This, this readies a troop we control when we use it, so. Hey, Tar. Archives heading to YouTube as always. This is our third draft of the day, fourth draft. 
Last draft of the day. I'm gonna be done after this one. Oh, you know what? I should have Valor this. Now he doesn't have to exhaust this again. That's a mistake. Yeah, I should have put the Valor on here. Because I chumped with the Phantom last turn too. Yeah, that was a couple of mistakes all wrapped up in one, kind of. Hopefully we hit my Vanquish here soon or another Chastise to kill this. We're going to get to draw a card from this. We'll get to draw a card from her turn. We'll get to draw two cards with the Sky Scholar. So, we just got to keep him down for a little bit longer here. I'm going to go ahead and do this now. This isn't basic, is it? No, it's not. It's unfortunate. They can pay two and exhaust these two to get this, but that's fine. He has to do it again to tap this. So again, we're just kind of trying to find some pieces of removal to get rid of their important threats to go long, because our deck's definitely far more controlling than our opponents. Um, I'm going to go ahead and chump block here, because we might not have the option to chump block later. We're going to have to look at three more cards here, so hopefully we find one of our two cost pieces of removal for this. There's a Chastise. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and hammer this. Draw two. Sweet. Play this. And then uh, Chastise this. I think I'm going to just hit him with this and this. Nah, I'm going to leave that one back. I already have two more phantoms in two turns, too. Got some more troops to play out, so... He's probably due to draw some shards here soon as well. 3-5. Do we have each probably champion shard ready this? Well, that gets checked by my 4-6 nicely. I just don't have good attacks here, which is great for us. Pass the turn here. And we're at kind of a board stall, but eventually we will hit hit some bigger flyers and then be able to punch through, ideally. Oh, that's brutal. We we're gonna get we we're gonna get phantoms next turn, and now this takes a charge from us and gives it to our opponent. Sure. Yeah, whoever wins the coin flip. If you both have a battle board, whoever won the coin flip, their battle board gets used. <laughs> sure. You know what would be sweet? If we hit the the mobilize return a troop to our hand so we can return the adjudicator and then re redeploy it to draw cards here and gain life. We are going to deck before our opponent here, so we do need to actually kill them at some point. So if I exhaust this 3-5, I can start attacking with my 4-6. He could go like block, 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 and then I kill this and kill this, and then I can start attacking into these other ones. Yeah, that seems worthwhile. Tar, you must not be familiar with how much they charge for cosmetics in other games. Like, they charge people pay a lot more than $10 for cosmetics in video games. And I'm excited to see Hex, Hex cashing in on some of that. Oh, geez. Do you have the plus three, plus three trick here? I don't have my big blocker anymore. That's unfortunate. Yep, I kind of kind of played into that. I guess I just trade here. Hopefully 
hopefully we hit one of our draw threes here soon. Or this is obnoxious. That would be great if this was obnoxious. I'm going to hold this for now. Yeah, I'm going to hold this for now. I'm going to trade with one of these and take four. This is holding these at bay. Doubt of Buddha with the brand new Twitch Prime subscription. Thank you for the support. I do appreciate it. Welcome. This is a card I probably could have waited on. Yeah, that feels bad. Like, if I would have just, like, waited and not attacked into his trick there. This is one of the many cards we could have hit to, like, punch through or, like, held my other piece of removal. That's fine. We got a game. We're, we're, no, this is game three, right? Yeah, this is game three. I'm a liar. I was say we have a game three, but no, we got screwed out of the other game. Uh, yeah, we're going to play this out here and give our troop uh, plus extra. Oh, yeah, block first. X Mushi with the brand new Twitch Prime subscription. Welcome. Thank you. Subs are the best way you can support my content, so I do appreciate that. I'm going to give my troops plus three toughness with this, so I eat this, and then I'm going to take six down to... I'm going to take six down to um, four here. And then we're not technically done on board, but we are mostly dead here. Unfortunate. Yeah, I feel like I mismanaged my, I feel like I mismanaged my, uh, my tools in the mid to late game, the game's opponent. So, deck came up short, resources, charge screw, threshold screwed in one, opponent threshold screwed in the other, and the third one where we had a lot of back and forth there, I could have, definitely could have made some better choices in the mid to late game. I feel like I got too aggressive shoving with my 4-6. I got too aggressive shoving with my 4-6s when I did. This is Dad's last match, then I'll set up your trains for you, okay? What's a gut in it? No. <laughs> the rest doesn't matter. Wow, this card's really good. It's a really insane. Plus two and flight until the start of your next turn. Yeah, yeah, I, I had I just had a little bit more resources than you in the mid game, and then in the late game I got a little bit too aggressive when I finally had more resources. God, this card's so obnoxious. Do you want to come in here and sit with Dad? Ugh. You want chips? Oh, kiddo. Go get your bowl. Ow. Excuse me while I'm getting assaulted by a toddler here. Actually, upon further inspection, I have another diaper to change. Apologies for the breaks, you know. 
Sometimes being a parent is a crappy job in the most literal sense. All right. Sorry about the delay, folks. Hopefully we get another Sapphire Threshold next turn so we can consult the talents. If we hit Sapphire Shard, we can go Sky Spy Scholar. Sky Spire Scholar into consult. Well, we'll play this and then we'll crack our opponent for three here. Classic, classic 19 shard deck, keep three sharder, miss fourth shard drop. Them's the beats sometimes. Let's see if my opponent's got a scary five for us to chastise or diamonds favor away here. That's a 3-4, okay. Um, well, we're gonna play the coins out, and then I'm gonna go ahead and consult here. I think we're gonna do this one, this one, and this one. Place a ruling lookout here. One doesn't have any actions in their hand, good to know. So they can activate their champion power, which transforms a troop into a random troop with plus two cost. They're gonna get a random seven drop here. Immolith, your troops have speed. Okay. It's kind of scary. Kill it with chastise or decree of banishing next turn. Almost certainly just jump blocking this. Take two in the air. Protection here. Nope. All right. Deal. Play this. Um, attack with these three. Skittering cultivator. I wonder what's in their hand. Cause they didn't have actions. Are they just like flooded out here? They like seven and eight drops in their hand. What's the What's the deal with seven drops, anyways? 
Amber Spire Calvary. When this attacks, it's Josh the troops control plus two plus two this turn. Sounds like a target for Diamond's Favor. You want to prioritize using your Diamond's Favor before using your other removal, when, especially when there's only one target for Diamond's Favor, because your Diamond's Favor won't always kill the thing you want it to kill later if the game goes a little bit long. And the sweet thing about this card is it doesn't target, so no protection for you. Sacrifice that one. I'm going to go ahead and crack for four here, and then we'll make some Dreadlings next turn. I need to go ahead and play out this Razor Edge Duelist. So two pieces of removal and a way to gas back up here at some point. This card does not block very well, though. has to have Diligence to get its plus power in flight. Mechanized aerialist, sure. Degree of Vanishing would like to meet you. Need to stun something, sure. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go ahead and hit this, yeah. I'm just gonna do this this turn. Activate this, pass the turn. Let's see how aggressive he wants to get here. Here's your chip. Calm down. Kid. You're killing me, Smalls. All right, let's put that there. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to take five here. I got the Silver Talon Adjudicator in my hand, so I'm not going to chump a f with a Phantom to just gain three life, basically. Let's go. Decree of Banishing. Tag that. this. Now let's go Silver Talon Adjudicator to gain some life here. Let's consult the Talons on these. Seems reasonable. Talons! Uh, maybe I should have exhausted that one for diligence purposes, actually. Attack with these two and that one. I love the knocking noise when you consult the Talons. It's so great. Uh, if he attacks here, I don't think I'm just concedes. Sweet. God, consult feels so good. You just, like, dig a hole and just, like, dump him in the ground while you bury him. What does Diamond's Favor do again? So Diamond's Favor can make your opponent sacrifice a random troop with toughness five or more, give your troops plus three toughness until end of turn, or make your opponent sacrifice a constant. This is going to be our last match of the day, folks. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out here today. I really do appreciate it. We had a few new subscribers, which I'm very grateful for. Subs and patrons on Patreons are the reason I am able to produce all of the content that I do. So thank you for that. Remember, if you missed any of the drafts today, this is like our fourth draft today, and we have cashed every single one of them so far. So knock on wood, if we win one of these next two games. We'll have cashed uh, five out of five drafts here on stream. Four out of five drafts here on stream. Yeah, one of my drafts wasn't streamed. But uh, 3 owed one and then we'd have 2 won the rest. Format seems sweet. Looking forward to farm farming cards we need in packs and platinum. I should probably sell my big... My big Blood Sapphire Dragon. Yeah, Rust Bucket is great, by the way. Looking at your Discord message tab. Dang it, Bobby. No. One? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take it. What do you think of all you specs of Lanupa? Uh, I, I think it's close, but probably not quite good enough. 
Okay, yep. 19, 19 thresh, 19 resource deck. Let's just, yep, just want to draw thresholds for the next two turns. That's perfect. We get to go coins on one here, into warp steel shard sworn on two, into spear cliff captain on three. Possibly sky spire scholar if our opponent's a little bit aggressive. That's, that's fantastic. Need more Doritos? Doritos are our favorite, huh, bud? Yep, take my charges. Yeah, I'm just gonna play the Sky Spider Scholar here. Next turn, we can play Spearcliff Captain, plus exhaust three of our nerds to uh, consult the Talon. Knock, knock, knock! What do I want for the dragon? I don't know. What are the dragons worth? That's the that's the question, right? What do I want? What are they worth? Make me an offer that I cannot refuse. Knock, 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 knock. Hello, hello, counselor. Are you home, counselor? Hello, I'm looking, counselor. Want to do this? This? Do I want a valor something here? I'm not sure that I do. Yeah, I think I'm gonna valor the duelist here. Nah, I'm not gonna burn the the valor on something on the ground. I'm just gonna wait until we have something in the sky. I think. Ah, I missed a free point of damage. I could have attacked with this because I've got plenty of blockers for this, this two one. I see an upgrade from the champ power here. Not yet. Make sure I don't have removal for it. Sweet. So we'll do this. And then let's make some flying power here. So flyers. More flyers. And then I think I'm gonna hold diamond favor up here. Yeah, I can hold diamond favor slash and slash cycling the coins. Because if he turns this into something really big and scary, I want to be able to kill it with favor. Two brides. What are the odds of that? What are the odds of him getting the same seven two games in a row? The seven isn't particularly good, so, like, whatever, but, like... Um, the ten out of ten, we'll sell the, we'll sell the thing for... Uh, he's eleven on Primal right now. Yeah, I don't want to sell him for eleven. That's not high enough. I'll probably play it at some point, so. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go block, block, block. Kill two of my things? That seems fine. They get, like, a two for one here, but, like, we're really far ahead on cards. No, things that are pretty far outside the statistical bell curve happen. I don't think there's any reason to talk about bugs. Perfect! Look at that. Something Diamond's Favor can destroy. I mean, make you sacrifice. Alright, Sky Squad, let's go! Crack for six. That is completely correct. I'm just gonna cycle this now while I have resources rather than trying to get a trick out of it. This only kills a troop with power four or more. I'm gonna attack with the spear cliff because it looks free and then chastise can finish this off. Until my phantom start attacking again next turn. 
This makes the troop deal damage equal to its power to itself, so that does three to itself. Oh, jeez. I forgot that I had this here. Oh, wait, is this a quick? Oh, that's quick. God, that's, that's so good. This card is so good. This card is so good. It's quick. Why is this card quick? Yeah, that's what I need. Draw more cards. God bless. Man, are control decks, like, good in this format? They might, they might just, like, control decks might actually just be good in this limited format. You got a 6-6. Six, six. Vanquish. Oh, look at that! The Valor makes it a two-turn clock. How convenient. Is he dead here? Hey, we actually just have him dead, right? We just, like, kill both of these? I don't think I actually want to kill both of these. I think I'd rather hold my removal just in case he's got something else left over. Like, in case there's a trick here, I don't want to have burned both my removal spells. Nope, just conceding anyways. Got it. Sweet. 2-1. All right. Awesome. Primal pack. Primal pack. Primal pack. Primal pack. I need a primal pack. Damn it. We're so We're so unlucky. So, so unlucky. And anyway, folks, thanks everyone for hanging out. Before we take off for the